Hi everyone, it's Miss Tina. I'm here this week to talk more about our theme for this month, which is Unstuck, Don't Give Up. Um, another overarching theme for the month is determination, and we're gonna talk more about determination today as well. So um, our bottom line for this week is keep going because God knows the end of the story. And our Bible story this week is about Stephen, um, who was an early church leader, and that is from Acts uh, chapter 6, verses 1 through 7. And in this story, I'm, I'm just going to go through uh, the broad strokes of the story. We're not going to go through the whole thing today. Um, and this is a little bit of a more of a somber story. And so parents, if you'd like to read through the whole story um, and, and go through all the details with your children, that is totally fine. I'm just going to do some broad strokes. Um, Stephen was an early church leader who was uh, selected by the disciples to kind of help um, as they were getting more and more people coming into the faith, they needed more people to help um, make sure that everyone was okay, safe, had food. And he was going around and preaching as well, uh, eventually caught the attention of the authorities, just like in last week's story with Peter and John. And he was arrested and put to trial, just as they were. Um, and so during his trial, even though he was facing um, death, he did, in fact, tell everyone very boldly that Jesus was the Savior. He was the Son of God. It was just as God had promised it was going to happen. It happened. Uh, the authorities did not want to hear this, of course, just as last week's story. They did not want to hear it. Um, but in this case, uh, Stephen was put to death. And so the bottom line this week is keep going even... Um, because God knows the end of the story. And when it comes down to it, most of our fear comes from being unsure of what's going to happen next. Um, and right now, I'm sure that really kind of fits in very well. Uh, I'm not even sure what's going to happen next with anything at this moment. Everything's pretty unsure. Um, it's all too easy to go to worst case scenarios. Um, but I think most of the time, you know, our fears, worst case scenarios are um, not what's going to happen. However, the point is, is that no matter what difficulties we may face, uh, we can trust that God will help us face them and he's going to help get us through it. He'll give us strength and courage um, for whatever we need to get through at any given moment. And only he knows the end of our story. So um, what we're doing today is uh, it, it is about determination more this is a, an activity from last week um, which more has to do with keep going even when it gets tough but I think this was pretty tough for Stephen to go through too so it fits in and it's pretty simple um, what the kids can do is now these are some ideas you can really you can do anything with this but you are going to basically be having kid, your kids um, do anything that you can think of that might be difficult and to try and do it for as long as they can. So you're going to time them and um, you can do as many rounds as you like. You can play this as many times as you like. Um, I have a, um, a helper who is going to help me. Julia, are you ready? Okay, so there's Julia there. <laughs> And she is going to, I'm just going to count because my phone is in use right now to video this, um, but I'm going to count her. I'm going to see how long she can stand on just one foot. So whenever you're ready, Julia. All right. Ready, set, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 
53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59. Oh, and I was just about to say that we'll stop at one minute because you were doing so well. I didn't expect you to be able to do that for that long. Good job, Julia. Evie, do you want to join in for this next one? Okay. So in our next one, I'm going to count um, and see how many jumping jacks she can do. And I'm going to count. I'm going to stop at one minute for that also. So on the count of three, Julia, we're going to start jumping jacks and see how many you can do in one minute. And actually, I'm just going to count how many jumping jacks she does, but I will watch the clock for one minute. Here we go. One, two, go right ahead. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine. 30. Okay, we're going to cap it at 30 seconds. Good job, Julia. And so here's my other assistant who is, I think, a little tired today. Um, so other things that you can do is for how long they can stick out their tongues, um, singing the song that never ends or any other song that you can think of. Um, and then for older kids, you can actually ask them to uh, come up with some determination tasks uh, to try. So um, this can go through the whole gauntlet of all the kids. And so basically, all of this has to do with determination. And we know that no matter what, that God is always with us to give us strength and courage. So we're going to say a prayer. And then we're going to be done for this week. And I hope that everyone will have a wonderful Memorial Day weekend. And um, we will see you at the end of the month next weekend. Okay, so let's pray real quick. And we say, dear God, we trust you and we trust at the end of all of our stories, your love will be with us forever. We believe we can have determination through hard times because you are the end of our story. You never leave us. Thank you for your faithfulness. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. So have a good weekend, have fun in the nice summer weather, and we'll see you next week. Bye.